Winter nights can be brutal in a tiny car. That's why I need steady reliable heat all night and a car that starts in the morning. This is the system that solves both. I bought the charger myself and the battery was supplied by Wattcycle. The idea is as follows. A Webasto heater under the hood warms the engine coolant and interior through the night. During the day, the Wattcycle battery charges while driving. And at night, the heater runs from the big battery instead of draining the starter battery. So why this battery? A winter night with the heater on fan speed 1 uses only a quarter of the battery and on fan speed 2 it is just a third. That includes the fuel pump, the fan and the water pump with this 314 amp hour watt cycle battery that holds about 3.6 kilowatt hour of usable energy. It means that I can run the heater for 30 to 40 hours on fan speed 1 or about 20 to 30 hours on fan speed 2. So even if I can't drive because of bad weather, I still have plenty of power to keep the car nice and warm. Moving on to the charger. It's a 30 amp DC to DC charger from Victron. I bought the 30 amp version because it's strong enough to charge well, but not too heavy on the alternator when other gear like my LED bar and floodlights are running. Wattcycle also included a 20 amp wall charger, so even when I am not driving, I can still top up the battery whenever I am near a wall outlet. These go from the starter battery to the Victron. And these two go from the Wattcycle interior battery, the leisure battery, to the outside again. So we're installing the display and wiring the cable from this as destination to this as the source. And it's going to be on the board here. That way we have intelligence about the status of our battery. We are wiring the cable through the pillar here. We can put a phone holder in here, like you have it on the middle. That is actually a really good idea. And then it is non-destructive. Yeah. We were not able to finish it, so we continued another day. Again, this is not very... You have to put so many disclaimers to say, don't do this at home. What if it works? It works, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, we're cooking, we're cooking a little bit of connectors. It's really good in the morning. It was a little bit of trial and error as we could not get the connector to heat up enough to melt the solder completely to the bottom. No, man. This is not, uh, not we need working out. Uh, no, it's not working out. But as we progressed, we were getting better at it. We used heat shrink on the cables and connectors for a clean OEM look. I'm a after that, we neatly routed the cables to the starter battery, one set going to the Victron and another to the Fozzybot FAC580 charger for my power station. The only thing left here is to add fuses, but at the time of filming I still had to order them. On top of the watt cycle battery, I mounted a wooden plate with two M8 bolts extending through it creating posts to attach the connectors. This turns everything into one single unit, the Victron charger, the display meter and the battery itself. And when I don't need it on summer road trips, I can simply remove the whole unit and tuck the Anderson connectors away under the dashboard. This goes here, or there, or here. <laughs> yeah, it goes here. No, wait, where's the minus? <laughs> now we don't have colors to know which one is what. This is going power in. That way. And, and then from the battery. And then from the battery. Straight to that there. way. And this is going and out, that is going yeah. to the engine compartment. Okay. With everything wired up, it was time to test, but first I still need to add the fuses. It might look smooth here, but in reality I spent about 2 hours fishing a fuse out of the engine bay, with the occasional rain and thunderstorms making it even more fun. After connecting everything, I also installed a slightly modified phone holder for the Watt Cycle display. The Watt Cycle app shows you the battery status and you can change settings if you know what you're doing. The Webasto install is coming soon, but first a few other mods. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video.